You got a minute? In today's parable, we have we have a very challenging parable in which you have. It tells us the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. What are tares? If you ever see a picture of wheat and tares. They look exactly the same, but the tares are a type of weed. The, 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 there's, they're not going to turn into grain. That's weed. It's fake. It's not something that is good, but it's something that's going to corrupt all of the land. So it says <coughs> you have a sower who sowed good seed, but when men slept, the enemy came and sowed tares, which is, this, this is these weeds, this, this very evil plant that will ruin the crop. And this is exactly what we need to be aware of. The Lord himself has sowed good seed in you. And this seed is able to bear beautiful fruit. Each and every one of us, we can be like the saints. God has given us his word. He's given us his spirit. And every single one of you and every single one of us are meant to become wheat, to become saints, to become holy like Christ. But when men sleep, the enemy comes and sows the weeds or the tares. I want you to think about the time in which spiritually you were asleep. And the devil came and planted a weed in your heart or in your life. Maybe without you realizing, he planted something and it might have seemed as something good, but it was actually something bad. Like I said, from far, you cannot tell the difference between the wheat and the weeds or the tares. Could it be that sometimes the devil has planted something in your life that you thought was good? One time a person came and told me, God blessed me and he gave me a, a, a great position and I became uh, a CEO in my company and they're paying me a ton of money. But as he's speaking, I started to realize slowly, slowly, him and his wife are getting further away. He has no time for his children. He loves money. He loves power. He loves... Over time, he said, wow, God has blessed me and I bought this new house and I have cars and I have all these things. And then over time, something happened in the company where they took away the position and they lowered his position and they cut his income in half. And everything was upside down. He says, how could God do that to me? I said, do you think that God gave you that position? Or do you think it has, maybe the devil is the one who gave it to you? The devil gave you something that seemed good. And he elevated you, elevated you, elevated you. And what did he do? He pulled everything out from under you. And then one day you found yourself, you have nothing. You're losing your family. You've lost yourself. You even lost your job. Be careful of what the devil plants in your heart. Maybe without you realizing, the devil is giving you a small love of money. And you love it. And you're starting to grow and grow and grow. And you say, oh, one day if I become rich, I'm going to help the poor. If I become rich, I'm going to uh, build the churches. If I become rich, if I become rich. And you find slowly, when you were sleeping spiritually and you were not aware, the devil planted something in your heart. There is nothing worse than when somebody has something growing in their heart and they're not aware. There is anger planted in the heart. Jealousy is planted in the heart. Insecurity is... And when I'm not aware, when I'm not walking with Christ and I'm not in the Word of God and I'm not standing before the Lord, I never know that the devil has planted it. But what happens is one day it will show and it will bring out weeds in my life. And it will corrupt my life and it will hurt my life. Let's turn back to remember that the Lord himself plants only good seeds. But we need to ask the Lord to remove those tears that the enemy has planted in our hearts. Those things that have made us turn away from God. My heart slowly is turning away from God. I became addicted to um, 
social media or I became addicted. And you don't know, the devil just introduced something to you and he planted it. And now it's growing, growing, and growing and turning our hearts away from the Lord. But none of us have an excuse because the Lord has planted good seed in all of us. You have good seed. And the devil will tell you, oh no, you're only weeds and you only have anger and you have lust in your heart and you have sins and you have this. But the Lord is going to say, I know I planted good seed. If you water that seed, it will bring forth fruit. And you will resemble Christ. You will resemble the ways of the kingdom of God. The lesson is do not sleep. Do not sleep spiritually because the devil is waiting for you to sleep spiritually and he will plant. That's why you say, well, what happens if I don't pray? You'll never know until after those weeds are planted in your heart and the tears are planted. You say, oh, maybe I didn't think my prayers were doing anything, but they were protecting me. They were keeping me in the presence of God. They were keeping my eyes awake. They were surrounding me by the angels. I didn't know that maybe I thought my prayers were doing nothing. No. They were surrounding you by angels. So when the devil comes to plant in his seed, he is not able to. You were awake. Turn back to being awake again spiritually. As we get closer to the, the Advent fast, it's a time to, I know with the quarantine and everything, people are just like done with everything. No. Stir up the, 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 the reins of your heart and, and be ready to take on the spiritual life seriously again. Lest when you sleep, the devil plans something to turn your life upside down. May the Lord grant us to be wheat, to be a blessing, to feed the world, to be like Christ, to be shining because his seed is planted in each and every one of us. And glory be to God forever. Amen.